guys, it's Magda K. Welcome back. So today I want to talk about something extremely important and these are four decision centers in our body. And the reason why it's so important is because we often actually do things that are against our bodies. It's something we don't want, uh, but we don't even understand it's something we don't want and we can traumatize ourselves. So especially with all of the recent discussions about the sexual abuse, I think this is extremely important for each one of us to understand. Now, this video is extremely relevant for all the women, but also men. You will find that the same process and the system of the four decision centers works for you as well. And you may discover and be surprised how often you make decisions that are against your body. So if we go back to, you know, the times back in the corporate, which you probably can relate to easily, then we make so many decisions from our head. You know, what is the logical mind telling us? The critical mind, right? And then when you start exploring Tantra or other paths of mindfulness, you realize that actually asking our brain for advice in many cases is not the best strategy because it doesn't have the expertise. So going into Tantra for me, one of the big movements was to drop into the body and listen to the body and also to reconnect to the wisdom of my yoni and my womb. So now I would have a lot of teachers say, okay, don't listen to your mind. What is your body telling you? What is your yoni telling you? But here's the thing. Our yoni doesn't always give us the right answer. And like I said, it's going to be relevant to men as well. So you may discover that also for you, your sex center may not be actually the best place to get the advice from. So why am I saying this? Because there's definitely a lot of wisdom in our genitals. But see, our bodies, the physical body, actually carries our beliefs. And a lot of those beliefs are limited beliefs. This is where the whole idea of muscle testing comes in and also working with the body, any forms of trauma release, because we are releasing the memory from the physical body. And look, all of us have been exposed to very damaging and unsupportive conditioning in our childhood. So maybe your father told you that you're ugly or that you will never achieve success. And those those beliefs, they're stored in your body. So when we ask our body for advice, if we ask anything, okay, body, what do you want right now? Well, truth is that it's going to reply to you based on those beliefs. So we have to keep that in mind that we need to filter those messages a little bit. And this is why this whole idea of the four decision centers is so extremely powerful. So let's go through each one of them so you get to discover how they work, what they want, and when to use them. So the first one, let's start with the sex. So for women, it's the yoni, for men, it's the lingam. So you've probably felt a few times in your life that you just saw this extremely beautiful man or a woman, and all you can feel is like, Ooh, I'm getting so aroused and all I want is to make love to this person. That's your yoni or your lingam talking. Now this decision center, our sex center, is focused on pleasure and it's a little like a spoiled child that wants things now and doesn't care about the consequences. So imagine yourself, for example, then your best friend is dating this really, really hot guy and you meet him and you're like, oh my god, I desire him so much and your young is just pulsating and screaming that she wants that. Well, and if you just listen to the yoni, you can go ahead and sleep with this man, but you're actually destroying your friendship. So this is why, like I said, we want to filter a little bit what the yoni is saying. Now, the second decision center, I'm going to jump, is our heart. Our heart wants connection and love. So if you haven't had intimacy in a while in your life, you may discover that suddenly you're longing for men in your life that maybe you're not exactly attracted to, they're not really good for you, but they like you, they're available, and that is so important in this moment because they will give you the sense of just being embraced by a person who cares about you. So the heart just wants to be loved, wants the connection, but once again, it doesn't think too much whether it's something that's good for you or not. Then we have the gut feeling, our stomach. That's the third decision center. Now that decision center is interested in your survival. Like, does it feel right or is it going to kill me? And I have to say that this is the one that I've ignored the most in the past. And today I give this decision center 
primary voice. Because even recently I was in a situation where I was with this man that I wasn't initially attracted to, but my heart started opening because he was so extremely into me. And I was like, oh, well, I'm not so much into him, but I would love to cuddle. Now, because he desired me so much, my yoni started reacting. So out of nowhere, now my yoni is also like, let's go for it, let's have fun. But my gut feeling kept telling me, don't do this, don't mix with this energy. And I honored this decision center. Now, one thing you need to remember is that each one of them can be extremely loud, and especially your yoni or yoninga, those have a tendency of screaming at you. So if you're not aware that there are other parts of your body that can share wisdom with you, you may be overpowered by your sex center and not realize that you're doing something you don't want. So I actually want to talk about something that happens pretty often for women, unfortunately, is that if they're with a man and, you know, in the moment there's all of this sexual energy building up, they end up making love to the man. But after they regret it and they realize that, you know, truth is they didn't want to do it. It's because they're overpowered by their yoni reacting to the moment. So that's why you have your yoni, you have your heart, you have your gut feeling. And lastly, yes, you do have your mind. Look, this logic that you have, it's beautiful and use it. So basically the mind comes in sort of like last the leader because it looks into all of the other centers and it can make a conscious decision what to do right now so let's say the yoni like in my case was saying yes 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 go for it the heart was like oh my goodness please go for that and the guy was like no it's a like it's a strict no and so i can use my reason and my logic to decide okay this is the most important voice because i know it by now and you know discovering those four decision centers has been a process for me like i said i started with just listening to my mind then listening to my sex and i got myself in some situations that well i won't say i regret them because i try not to go there but i was definitely not happy that i did the things that i did then i started opening my heart and once again i realized that i would get myself in uncomfortable situations because i was just listening to the center and then I finally included my gut feeling. So ideally, whenever you are in a situation, especially sexual and intimate situation, you want to make sure that all four centers are aligned. And look, maybe it won't happen. In fact, probably to have this alignment requires some really amazing partner and really amazing situation. But just keep in mind that this is the only moment when you're going to fully enjoy yourself and also do not, won't get traumatized. Because if you ignore any of these voices, what you're actually doing is telling no to yourself. Your body told, told you, I don't want that. And you just ignore that request and you did something against your body's will. Think about it. You're doing something against your own will and that creates trauma. And even if this trauma is small, over time it builds up in your body. And we talk a lot, you know, on my channel and on Facebook about women opening to orgasm. And those little traumas over time, they're powerful enough to block a woman's ability from experiencing deep full body kundalini orgasm. So it's not something you want to take lightly. I really, really care about this topic so much based on my own experience, how I did a few things that I wasn't so proud of. And I know the kind of pain that it causes. And especially today when we really need the discussion about, you know, empowering, how to be more empowered, especially around women, so important for you to start tuning into all of those four centers, learn to recognize their voices in any situation you're in, ask, ask your yoni, ask your gut feeling, your heart and your mind. And when you start having these conversations, you're building relationship to your body. So over time, you'll be getting those messages faster and faster. But really, please, 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 please start doing it. We cannot change the world. We cannot stop the abuse that's happening if we don't take care of our bodies as well. So thank you so much for tuning in and listening to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, contact me if you would like to work together. And I'm wishing you a beautiful day.